Hello everyone. This is Saad Umar and today I have brought you another video. Uh, in this tutorial, uh, we will going to learn how to create a minimalistic gradient logo uh, using some basic technique and the tool that we will be using today is this curvature tool. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first of all, we will be selecting the ellipse tool that is the short shortcut L. Okay, and now controlling the Alt and shift create a circle like this okay keep it in the center by using horizontal align center okay and just scale it up a bit okay and keep on locking the objects that we keep on creating okay by using the shortcut control 2 okay now what we do now is that we will grab the curvature tool from here okay and we will place it somewhere uh, here okay and then use a second anchor point here okay and just simply drag this like this okay and again press ctrl 2 to lock the object okay now once again click on the anchor point select another anchor. let's say here ok and simply drag it here somewhere ok now you can see that the curvature is not very much smooth so we can add some more curvature point by clicking anywhere on the path by using the curvature tool and simply drag it like this okay and do the same for the bottom part we can do like this now you can see that this is the smooth transition you can uh, you can see that there are no sharp bends or sharp edges everything is smooth okay uh, now what we are going to do we will lock this layer as well okay and now grab the pen tool click on this anchor point okay and simply click somewhere here okay and just create a random path okay now uh, we have unlocked all the objects by pressing alt control 2 okay and now we will select all the objects and go to shape builder tool okay and we will alt press alt and simply delete these unneeded objects like this like this ok now what we are going to do we have to now color the objects ok so select all the objects grab the shape builder tool and keep on clicking in the individual portion like this okay and select out all these portion and just invert the colors save the colors okay uh, now i have already selected few colors that i will be incorporating in the logo so first of all create the bottom object and press on the gradient click on this and keep on selecting the colors like this we can also change the orientation we can also do it 180 degree okay. now for the above object we can select the darker orange like this and you can experiment as much as you can this we are going to do we are going to create a mirror image of this object by pressing the alt and simply drag it and just rotate it 180 degree <coughs> like this okay sorry and just keep it 
closer to it okay first of all let us change the colors okay so okay and we have to send this object to the back so simply press control shift and left square bracket to send it at the back okay now our icon is ready place it in the center and now we have to add the text place in the middle of the artboard and our logo is almost ready just giving us giving it a background and send it to back and change its color to white and i believe we are done and that is a simple tutorial that you can follow to create some other minimalistic logos by giving it a very good gradient effect thank you for watching